everybody, welcome back. I think you guys realize that latent chapters are very long in this game. So I'm going to cut back from talking too much of the introduction because we're almost finished with this chapter, so we're going to get through this hopefully in this video. But anyway, we're investigating the sun and moon thing, which is going to be behind the desk of Mysteries. Uh, what's that? It's a sun and moon construction. Oh! So the sage must be... That's right. The sage of this library refers to the curator. And this sun and moon construction is located right behind her seat. So that's what the sun and moon watching over the sage was referring to. And when the sun and moon swap places, their true form will be shown. And the door to the past will open. So all we need to do is work out what that means. But what does it mean by their true form? Hmm. Well, if we interpret it at face value, it would suggest that we are currently seeing their untrue form. Hmm? Have a look at this. There seems to be some sort of mechanism in place. Oh, Professor! If you look closely, there seems to be a puzzle hidden here! Hooray! Hidden puzzles! Okay! I don't know what's the shortest amount of time to finish this. I'm just gonna get through it. But basically, you gotta switch places for these two. So. I know what I'm doing totally. Oops, no, I don't. <laughs> Look how many moves it's taking me to do this. I'm a failure. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> I'm so good at this, guys. I'm so good at this. Almost there! Boom! Okay, now we just gotta put all these pieces together. All done! Ta-da! Yeah, that was... 88 moves! Let's I know it takes I less than that, but myself. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you should expect no less from a gentleman. <laughs> well then! There's a stairway! Who would have thought that... Who would have thought there could be anything hidden like... Anything like this hidden here? The ancient flame has been locked in an infinite vault of books. I wonder just what we'll find down there. Uh, an entrance to a basement below the, uh, the Great Archive! Am I right in thinking that you knew nothing of this stairway's existence? That's right! And if I, as the curator, knew nothing of it, then surely no one else could. It's hard to believe that a secret such as this could have been hidden here all this time. Who could have possibly left such a message? Who indeed? Hmm. It might be wise not to let anyone see what has been revealed here. I agree. I'll be back as soon as I have asked the other visitors to leave the building. Well then, are you both ready? You betcha! Let's go, Professor! You too, Espella! Okay then, Luke. To the basement! Ugh. If you let me through the basement. This place appears to be some sort of historic site. 
It's amazing to think a place like this could exist under the library. I wonder when it dates from. Uh, that mural. It can't be. We should look at that shortly. We're going to find hit coins first. And there's only three in here. And now we speak to Riddell. This wall painting is a bit scary, isn't it? A monster attacking a burning town. There's also a woman hurling fire. I suppose she sh must be a witch? That woman is the Great Witch. Miss Mysteri. This certainly doesn't bode well. A painting of the Great Witch here. Do you know anything about the witch in this painting? You don't know of the Great Witch? But how can that be possible for a man of your learning? Well, that's... Never mind. I'm sure you must have your reasons. I don't wish to pry. I appreciate that. Would you mind perhaps telling us a bit about this witch? The woman in this painting is the Great Witch Bezella. And this painting depicts the infamous legendary fire that she caused. The legendary fire. She is the witch in charge of all witches, whose very existence poses the greatest threat known to Labyrinthia. The great witch Bezella cannot be considered the same as other witches. She is the root of all Labyrinthia's woes. The great witch Bezella. Ominous, no? What do you mean by the root of all of of all Labyrinthia's woes? The reason for all of Labyrinthia's suffering are at the hands of the witches lies in the very existence of the great witch Bezella. Would you mind elaborating? The great witch Bezella is the source of all the other witches. As long as she exists, there will be no end to other witches. While the great witch Bezella is with us, the townspeople will forever live in fear under the shadow of witches. So you mean that if there are no great witch, there would be peace? No great witch? That's easy enough to say. But while all of the knights have been searching for Bezella, nobody has ever been able to find her. There are very few clues, and no one has ever seen her in person. Nevertheless, the great witch Bezella is undoubtedly present in Labyrinthia. How can you be so certain? Because her deep claw marks can still be seen throughout the town. Claw marks? You must all have seen them too. The traces of that fire when you enter this library. Ah, uh, yes. There was a part of this building that has suffered noticeable damage. Bezella is a fearful witch who has all other witches doing her bidding. Long ago, this town was reduced to ashes as a result of her fiery magic. Reduced to ashes? That must have been, let me see, a hundred or so years ago. It was on that evening, on the evening of the fire festival, held every year in honor of the Great Witch Bezella. The Great Witch's fury was unleashed without warning, as the entire town burned. That's terrible. That was the legendary fire. Every person in this town knows about it. The legendary fire. The rebuilding of the town was a long and arduous process, and all the while Bezella must have been watching and laughing from the shadows. That's awful. Even now, the legend of long ago continues to cause real suffering amongst the townsfolk. To think that a painting of that fearful witch would be right here in the basement of my beloved library! What is this doing here, of all places? There's nothing for it. I'll just have to. Sh I'll just have this room sealed, sh uh, sealed shut. There. <laughs> Please, let's keep the existence of this room strictly between ourselves, for the good of the people, and for me. I shall do my best to forget all about this hidden room. I'm afraid I'd rather not remain in here any a minute longer. 
It's time I started closing up the library for the day. I can't help but feel we've done something wrong. Luke, do you recall the words towards the end of that message? Do you mean until I... until then I will wait? That's right. When we opened this door, or rather, when we were guided towards opening this door, I could sense someone else's will at work. It's almost as if our following Carmen and coming to this library had all been planned out in advance. Surely you don't mean that we were beckoned here by the great witch Bizella? Bizella. Uh, Spella? <laughs> Ooh, cutscene! Huh? Is something the matter? <sighs> Are you feeling all right, Espella? Yes, I'm fine, really. Bella? Uh, I... uh, yes? What is it? It's just that... well, you've been so quiet. Oh, it's nothing. It's just that... this room... it's a little chilly, don't you think? The atmosphere is a bit sinister. Not to mention that scary picture. Maybe it's about time we made a move from here? Yes, indeed. Those words at the end of the message. I will wait. What if we weren't meant to be the ones being called here? Spooky. Oh, a new mystery. Okay. Oh, I solved another and I solved one. Okay. Carmen had been visiting the Great Archive to investigate one of Labyrinthia's secrets. That secret being the ancient remains found hidden in a room beneath the library. Who would have thought that the secret common was after was the mirror of the great witch Bezella under the library? Hidden beneath the great archive were ancient remains in which was enshrined an ominous wall painting depicting the town being consumed by fire. When was this painting created, and by whom? Was it by chance that we found this wall, or were we in fact led to it by someone? Spooky. Oh. Phew. It was more relaxing here, isn't it? It felt so intense and claustrophobic down there. Yes, it certainly did. Today has been full of surprises. Not only did I meet up with you two again, but we also found that mirror in the library. It seems that this town really does hold a mysterious secret, doesn't it? What shall we do now? Hmm. I certainly like to learn more about this magic. We've been here for quite some time. It must be getting late. It's probably best if we wind up if we wind up our investigation for today and take a rest. You must both be feeling tired. Yes, I suppose you're right. I'd be happy to do a little more investigating with you two. But I have an errand to run before it gets too late. I'm still up for investigating further. Whatever the puzzle, I'm ready to solve it. Are you sure, Luke? Oh, <laughs> Luke, I can hear your tummy rumbling from here just now. Well, I can't pretend I'm a little hungry. If you haven't arranged accommodation yet, why don't you both stay at the bakery? There is a room free, so I'm sure it'd be alright. And Mrs. Eclair would love to have you. What do you say? Well, if you put it like that, we'd be delighted to stay. Thank you, Espella. And there's all that delicious bread, too! I'm looking forward to it already! <laughs> Too bad we're not doing that until we do all the puzzles. Professor Layton, do you have to be going? Yes. Sorry for all the trouble we put you through. Not at all. Although, I still can't get used to there being a secret room under the library. It's been quite a while since I've met someone capable of solving my puzzles. And as I promise, you have my permission to borrow the Grand Grimoire. 
If you have any need for it in the future, please do drop by and let me know. Thank you very much, Miss Mystery. It's been a pleasure. Oh, there is just one more thing. I have all of Labyrinthia's puzzles stored here in this library. As you continue with your investigations here in Labyrinthia, there will likely be puzzles that you cannot solve or which you do not find. Such puzzles will come to me. Anytime you wish to solve such puzzles, just visit me and I will show them to you. Puzzles that we cannot solve or do not find, you say? <laughs> Very well. Then I look forward to seeing you again. I'll be waiting. Please take care on your way home. It's already become dark out there. I think Riddell has a crush on Leighton. And, if I remember rightly, the storyteller's latest story did mention the evening. You take care too, until we meet again, Miss Mysteri. Whew. Oh, I like the soundtrack. Wow, it already is? It's already dark out here. I didn't realize we were in here so long. It looks as if it must have been raining up until a moment ago. The ground is still wet. Yes, and that reminds me of what Mrs. Eclair was saying before we left. She said, you might want to hurry. It looks like it might rain at any time. Let's get a move on. You too, Espella. Uh, hey, where is, she? where is she? That's strange. She's not here. Oh, I hope you're not hearing the piano playing in the background. I wonder where she could have gone. Perhaps she's still in the great archive. <clears throat> oh, hello, Dewey. Slowly does it, step by step. Oh, are you two still here? Can you let me through? I have to lock up. Hello, Dewey. Have you seen Espella? If you're looking for Espella, she left while you were still talking to Miss Mystery. Eh? I wonder why. She said something about having to buy some milk, even though it was still raining. Ah, yes, I do remember Mrs. Sinclair asking her to get some milk for the bakery. It was raining, you said. Yes, it started raining about the time you all went down into the library basement. When Espella left just now, it didn't look as if the rain was about to stop. Uh, yes, she left a message for you. She said to go back without her. But she didn't have to go alone, especially in the dark. I'm sure she'll be fine. If, all, if it's only milk she needs, then she can get it at the market. It's not far, so she should be back soon. If anything, I'd be more worried about you two being the ones in danger. You know, in the story, it said there were two companions. If you work here to... If your work here is finished, then I suggest you both go home. I don't want to get caught up in anything. Luke, why don't we head back to the bakery and wait for a spell out there? I suppose so. I guess she'll be alright, right? Maybe. Well, before we go back to the bakery, we're gonna go look for puzzles! I think there's one here. Gotta talk to Mr. Tuckett here. Yep. No, 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 it's pitch black! I can't go home when it's so dark. I don't even remember what voice I used for Tuckett, honestly. I don't think it's so dark with all these lights around. Lights? Yes, that's right, the lights. I have trouble with the lights in my house. It's so dark in there. I don't know what voice I used, and he's kind of minor to the point where I'm like, Bleh. Oh, damn it, this puzzle. <laughs> Ghastly figures now haunt the interior of this mysterious mansion, and I have been tasked with ridding its halls of the oak. If I am to succeed in my mission, I must light all the candles to vanquish these fiends. Hmm, this room seems to rotate. Use this to your advantage and rotate the room so that I might reach the candles. Note, the candles will light up or extinguish each time the night passes by. I'm going to use a guide for this so we don't take too long on this. Alright, so, first we're going to go clockwise, twice. Counterclockwise, twice. Clockwise, once. Counterclockwise, once. Clockwise, ten times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, now we're going to go. Well, now you can probably see where we're going here. Counterclockwise, clockwise, 
counterclockwise and done. See what you think of this. Oh, let me do the next one too. Excellent! The house is once again cleared! You have my utmost gratitude! Now you can return to a brightly lit house! If it's as bright as this, then I've nothing to worry about. It's so bright that I can't even tell it's my house from afar. Shining so very brightly. No, 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 no! No, it can't be so bright! If my house is that bright, it's bound to get noticed by the witch! And then I'll be doomed! Oh, tug it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, next puzzle is in the... Over here? I think there's like a puzzle in every location right now. Oh, look! It's Cinderella! Francesca, Anna, Lillian, my dear friends, I am ever so sad. Soon, the four of us will be forced to part ways. This is the pawnbroker's shop, isn't it? What seems to be the matter? Oh my! Is that concern in your voice, old oh gentle sir? If you have but a moment, allow me to explain my ever so woesome woe. The family coffers are not brimming with coin as they once were, I'm afraid. So I've come to sell my ever so dearest friends. What? Sell your friends? Indeed, lifelong friends at that. Oh, indeed, gentle sir. However, my friends are ever so picky about where they stay. Pray, would you be able to put them into their proper rooms? Okay. Dollhouse drama. A set of very stubborn dolls have requested help in assigning each of them a room. Touch asked to find out each of the dolls' criteria for their perfect room, and then place them into rooms based on what they say. Remember that each doll speaks for its entire color set. God, I remember this was being a butt, but you really only have to move one doll. So. I really want a room on the top floor. I want a room on the same row across or up. No way am I staying in a room next to A. It'd be nice if B had rooms below mine. Okay, so those are all the answers, or what they're saying. So really the only thing you need to switch is B and C, though. Sweet. This is my answer! <laughs> God, it took so long to solve that. As you'd expect from a gentleman in training. Correct! Happy residents make for happy homes! Now I get it. Oh, that's... <laughs> That wasn't Cinderella, sorry. Now I get it. The friends you were referring to are your dolls. Oh, thank you, kind, gentle sirs. With my friends all in their place, I'm sure to get ever such a fair price. And I'm sure they will be ever so happy in their new homes. Wait, did we do that for your friends or for the price? Tell me, Mr. Pawnbroker, will you take, will you take ever such good care of my friends now? Madam, I realize you have brought your friends a long way to visit me, but I'm afraid a doll's house like this is a little out of my line. Uh... Okay, okay, you win! I'll take them off your hands. <laughs> Wonderful! Thank you ever so much, Mr. Pawnbroker. Uh... She might be laughing, but I could certainly sense the tension in that transaction. A haughty laugh of authority, perhaps. Alright, there's one more puzzle on Main Street. Wait, that's not Main Street, derp. This is Main Street, and I believe... There you are. Okay. Uh-oh, not good! What shall I do? What's the matter? Is something troubling you, madam? Oh, yes! Something certainly is! Troubling me, I mean! Today's story is just so frightening! You said that last time. You mean the story with the witch. So you're afraid too? Well, duh! Of course I'm afraid, but I'm the courier! And that means one thing! My post will always be delivered! No exceptions, no matter what! Courier? I guess that's like a postwoman, right? I wouldn't know about that. I just delivered these letters to the townspeople. But now everyone's afraid, so no one's going out! So, there are way more than usual letters. There are way more than usual. Letters, I mean. 
Let us need delivering! We'd be delighted to offer our help. Is there some way that we could lend you a hand? Thank you for the offer, but there's nothing you can do. Delivering letters is my responsibility, you see. Wow, that's impressive. Even at a time like this, you're putting your work first. Well, I suppose. But you know what? I can't help but think, if only there was something I could ride. That would make it so much easier. The delivery, I mean. <laughs> okay, what is this puzzle? Ah, uh, short round ride. Yes, okay. I only know this because Indiana Jones. <laughs> ride the starry road to the other side. The star-filled road is the only way across. Unfortunately, the path is not quite so simple. You can ride on top of the road as well as below it, but which will get you across safely? Slide the stylus across the touchscreen to move the camera and get a better view of the winding path. So basically just look at the winding path and see which one will get you back to the top. And the answer is still up, so... <laughs> So he was already in his right position. This is my answer. Ta-da! Solve the puzzle. Expect from a gentleman in training. One thousand picards. Woot! You served the stars to safety. If only I had a cart like that, I could deliver all the letters. I just dropped them down from the sky. Put one foot wrong and you fall out. You at least need a seat belt. A seat belt? What's that? Anyway, I better go. Can't keep talking. Got letters to deliver. And remember, let me know if you have anything to deliver. Levers, letters, I mean. Bye. So long, mailer. And that was it, I believe. So we can head back to the bakery. Can I finish this before 30 minutes? Professor, I smell freshly baked bread. I wonder if that means Mrs. Eclair's work. This could be is Mrs. Eclair's work. Let's go inside. Hmm, yes, we could. But though we could also take a walk around the town at night. If there's nothing else we'd particularly like to see, perhaps we should head back in. We saw everything we needed. Let's just go inside. Ah, oh, welcome back. I've prepared the evening meal already. Wow, it looks great! Hang on, where's Espella? I'm afraid we were separated when she went to get that milk. She has not come back yet? Oh dear, maybe I was asking too much of her. My apologies, I should have stopped her had I had the chance. Oh, it's nothing you need to worry about, Mr. Layton. That girl knows her way around. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Let's go ahead and eat while we're waiting for her. I love it when we all get together, get to eat together. Meals are much more enjoyable that way. I've never had bread and jam that tasted this good before. I hope Espella gets back soon. Oh yeah, you guys went out to the Great Archive with her, didn't you? Did you find what you were looking for? Well, it's a bit of a mystery, really. What do you mean? In truth, we went there to investigate the mystery that is Labyrinthia. However, what we found instead was quite the puzzle. Oh, right. A puzzle, huh? You know, I get the impression puzzles are pretty popular in this town. Do you not know how, what do you not know what a puzzle is, Nick? Not that I know exactly. Well, we spend all our time baking. It's not really the kind of thing we're supposed to know about, I guess. <clears throat> I need water. <laughs> Indeed. It appears the two of you are a little unsure about the concept of puzzles. Say, Mr. Layton, do you think you could give us a little Puzzle 101 crash course? I'm kind of curious. It would be my pleasure, Miss Faye. But rather than explaining it in words, I believe actually trying your hand at a puzzle would be far more rewarding. Here, I'll give you both a simple example to think about. Now then, here we have two long loaves of bread placed side by side. You'll notice that they form the number 11. Do you see what I mean? Oh, yeah, I get it. So that's what a puzzle is. Not quite, Miss Fay. The puzzle is what follows next. What I'd like you to try is, I'd like you to see if you can change this into a number lower than 11. A lower number? So how about if I take one of these, one of the loaves? However, the one condition is that you must add another loaf of exactly the same type. You mean to add 
Another loaf? Even though we had even though we had a loaf, the number has to be lower. I think I'm beginning to see what you mean by puzzle. Wait, I think I got it. I may just be a baker, but I bet I have the right answer. <laughs> if I place the extra loaf sideways like this, then one minus one equals zero. Oh, give me a break, Nick. That's totally the letter H. We're trying to solve a puzzle here, not win a spelling bee. Oh, come on. I can't be the only one that sees one minus one, right? Right? Turning it into a matter of arithmetic is certainly an interesting approach. You, uh, think so? Most certainly. That's precisely the kind of flexible thinking needed for solving puzzles. Now, let's think again. Take a seat and leave this to a pro, Nick! How about this? You just take this new loaf and... Ta-da! Um... Now that's one minus one! Hey, eating is cheating. Really? Because it feels more like winning to me. You're full of surprises, Miss Fay. I didn't expect that kind of innovation. I solved the puzzle and enjoyed the bread. Win-win, baby! But... Did Mr. Layton tell us at the start that we needed to add another loaf of the exact same type? Huh? Seriously? That's right. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't accept this as a solution to the puzzle. Well, alright, but is there really another better solution? Well, what do you think? Can either of you think of any different solution? I'm drawing a blank. I guess this kind of thing just isn't for me. <clears throat> you both came up with such creative answers. I'm sure you'll be solving puzzles in no time. But now it's time for the solution. The important thing in this puzzle's solution is the angle of the loaf that is added. If the new loaf is placed upright like so, Oh, I get it! It's the number 1.1, right? Hey, that's right! That's a lot lower than 11. Exactly. With solving puzzles, there is never just one correct method. It's essentially... It's essential to think flexibly and try many means to solve it. Sometimes critical thinking is the key to success. Right. I see what you mean. These puzzles are really something else. Well, if I see another puzzle like this, I'd still rather eat my way to the solution. Maya, please. You know, I don't think I could... I'm cut out for the brain-busting bread puzzles like this. I'll stick with good old regular bread, thanks. That's because we're ace bakers. I guess we're better suited to using our hands than our heads. Is that so? In truth, I can't help but feel you're both a little out of place as bakers, if you'll pardon my sayings. So. Naturally, I won't force puzzles upon you. Yes, you will! But if either of you should be interested, I would heartily recommend giving puzzle solving a try. Professor, right now there's something else we all need to try. Mrs. Claire's freshly baked bread is getting cold. And I'm sure it tastes better hot. Oh dear, so it is. You know how I can get when it comes to puzzles. Yep. I need a save point, fuck. <laughs> Well, young man, I must say it's a pleasure to have someone show such appreciation for my baking. When it comes to your bread, Mrs. Eclair, there's no limit to how much I could eat. Oh no, Luke! L Luke! Luke! I thought that was Maya. You... you shouldn't have said that! Hmm? My, my, aren't you a darling? Well then, in that case, I suppose I'll just have to bring up my special reserve. Hold on a moment, I'll just go and fetch it. Um... Right, uh, I think it's time I started preparing tomorrow's bread. Oh, y yes, me too! I'm sure it must be that time already. Uh... Professor, w what was that all about? I'm not entirely sure, but I do seem struck by a sudden sense of impending doom. Sorry to have kept you waiting. There you go. Have at it, but we won. I won't take kindly to leftovers. Oh, good lord. Whoa, this, this loaf. Wait, where did those two go? Miss Maya, Mr. Wright. Luke, it would appear that we have been left to tackle this particular task alone. Well, Phew, 
I'm stuffed! Hmm. I believe this must be the most bread I've ever eaten in my life. Wait a sec. I've just realized we finished eating, but Ismela still has isn't back yet. She went to the market, didn't she? Uh oh. Oh my! Customers at this late hour. I'm sorry, but we're closed. That's him! That man over there! So, he's the one, is he? Just a minute! Who do you think you're doing, barging in here like this? Stand aside, madam! This is a matter of urgency! W what are you going to do? You there, porcupine head! You're coming with us! Huh? P porcupine head? You don't mean me, do you? Who else in this room fits that description? Certainly, you would appear to be alone on that particular front. Ugh, I wish I had a top hat too right about now. Enough of your idle chit-chat! Time to get on going! Huh? What do you mean? Well, it should be quite obvious. You're coming to the court, of course. The court? Wh what Mr. Wright, what did you do? Yeah, Nick, what did you do? I didn't do anything! The only thing you could accuse me of is making bread that's too good to eat. <laughs> right? <laughs> this man is not the one who's on trial. In that case, why is Mr. Wright being made to go to court? That's simple, because the girl has requested him, of course. Girl? What girl? Naturally, the girl facing trial for this evening's crime. That heinous witch, Mrs. Spella Cantabella, no less. Mm. Welp! Uh, I'm really over time, but whatever. We finished the chapter. Hooray, hallelujah. <laughs> Long chapter. To be continue. Now we gotta figure out why Spella is in the witch trial. And hopefully Wright will remember that he's a freaking attorney. So I'll see you guys then, because I don't want to get this going any longer. So, yeah. Laters! Oh, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, leave a comment, and like this video. Yes, I think I said everything. Whew! I know what I'm doing totally. Oops, no, I don't. <laughs> Look how many moves it's taking me to do this. I'm a failure. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> I'm so good at this, guys. I'm so good at this. Almost there! Boom! Okay, now we just gotta put all these pieces together. All done! Ta-da! Yeah, that was... 88 moves! Let's I know it takes I less than that, but... Myself. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you should expect no less from a gentleman. <laughs> well then! There's a stairway! Hey everybody, welcome back. I think you guys realize that latent chapters are very long in this game. So I'm going to cut back from talking too much of the introduction because we're almost finished with this chapter, so we're going to get through this hopefully in this video. But anyway, we're investigating the sun and moon thing, which is going to be behind the desk of Mysteries. Uh, what's that? It's a sun and moon construction. Oh! So the sage must be... That's right. The sage of this library refers to the curator. And this sun and moon construction is located right behind her seat. 
So that's what the sun and moon watching over the sage was referring to. And when the sun and moon swap places, their truth. Who would have thought that? Who would have thought there could be anything hidden like anything like this hidden here? The ancient flame has been locked in an infinite vault of books. I wonder just what we'll find down there. Uh, an entrance to a basement below the, uh, the Creed Archive. Am I right in thinking that you knew nothing of this stairway's existence? That's right. And if I, as the curator, knew nothing of it, then surely no one else could. It's hard to believe that a secret such as this could have been hidden here all this time. Who could have possibly left such a message? Who indeed? Hmm. It might be wise not to let anyone see what has been revealed here. I agree. I'll be back as soon as I have asked the other visitors to leave the building. One will be shown. And the door to the past will open! So all we need to do is work out what that means! But what does it mean by their true form? Hmm, well, if we interpret it at face value, it would suggest that we are currently seeing their untrue form. Hmm? Have a look at this. There seems to be some sort of mechanism in place. Oh, Professor! If you look closely, there seems to be a puzzle hidden here! Hooray! Hidden puzzles! I don't know what's the shortest amount of time to finish this. I'm just gonna get through it. But basically, you gotta switch places for these two. So.